"'Twas the night before Christmas, deep in his cave. Not a creature was stirring, they were dead in the grave. Now that his rampage had come and gone, Robo looked forward to sleeping several hours past dawn. It was a stroke beyond midnight when a clatter arose. Robo's eyes broke open, a fat man's scent caught his nose. A mad dash he made, straight for his vault, wherein he stored enough guns and ammo to start a global revolt. He was armed to the teeth, from forehead to toe. Quoth the Robo, Tonight will be that fat man's last ho ho ho! With a launcher strapped to his back and chainsaw in hand, Robo was poised to make his very last stand. For years now I've had to endure all this holiday crap! All the singing and presents, just take it all back! People killing each other over the last toy on the shelf! I'll put a stop to this nonsense, I'll end Christmas myself! An evil cackle released from deep within his chest. He secured his grenades and fastened his Kevlar vest. His eyes as sharp and as keen as his knife, he stalked through the darkness to end Santa this night. No great effort was spent in tracking his prey. Robo found the jolly fat man as he was stepping out of his sleigh. I've got you now, you fat bastard. I'll tear that beard from your head. No milk and cookies here, Santa. Eat some bullets instead. Robo then pulled the trigger and went to work without further ado. He exhausted every round and made reindeer stew. But the fat man still stood, all smug and in red. You'll have to do better than that, Robo, if you want Santa dead. Quick to oblige, Robo charged, and he hacked, and he slashed, but Santa avoided injury as he moved in a flash. The grenades were dispensed next. Explosions filled the night. I may not kill you, Santa, but you'll know you've been in a fight. For a half hour, this war continued, but much to Robo's surprise, not a scratch had been inflicted. He failed at Santa's demise. His massive shoulders slumped forward as he admitted defeat. His survival instincts took over, and he turned to retreat. Wait a minute, young man! You've got much to explain! Why would you try to kill Santa and prevent Christmas from coming again? At first, Robo said nothing. He simply stood with his back to the wind. I'll tell you exactly why, old-timer. I tire of this holiday trend! All the advertisements and commercials and retailer sales, everything from vacuum cleaners to diamonds from Zales. People flock to the stores and they clog up the street. They pepper spray one another and trample each other beneath their feet. No more peace on earth or goodwill toward men. The true meaning of this holiday is lost. There's nothing left to defend. It's a mockery, I tell you. It pisses me off to the point of insanity. I tire of all these greedy, gift-obsessed morons and all their shameless vanity. Santa nodded slowly, understanding the young man's plight. Robo was unhappy that this holiday no longer seemed right. Dearest Robo, I understand just how disappointed you've become, but I promise you, lad, there's still purity here. Not much, but there's some. Think of all the smiles that occur on every Christmas morn. Think of all the songs and the families and the babies that are born. Despite how commercial things may seem, miracles still do exist. Think back on your own childhood happiness and then try to resist. With a shrug, Robo's eyes closed and he traveled far back to a time when he was young and happy and when things weren't so whack. He remembered his dear sweet mother and all the food she used to cook. In the holidays with his father, those stories could fill a book. 
all those memories came flooding back to him as he stood there in the snow. Son of a bitch! He exclaimed. The fat man's right. What do you know? He opened his eyes and there stood Santa with a big jolly grin. Robo's heart started to melt as a tear reached his chin. You've made your point, old man. I guess it's not all bad. I suppose I just missed all the good times I once had. Things haven't been the same since childhood passed by, but I guess I should be happy instead of trying to make everything die. Santa took a step forward as he opened his arms. He was looking for a hug, but he triggered an alarm. In the heat of the conflict, it must have slipped Robo's mind. Unfortunately for Santa, he forgot to deactivate the proximity mines. With a brilliant flash of explosive light, Santa was blown to extinction. His remains littered the ground. There was no way of making distinction. Oh no, it's over! What the hell have I done? Without all these gifts, none of those kids will have fun! They'll become angry and bitter and end up just like me! They'll become violent antisocial adults intent on a killing spree! Now, this simply will not do. I've got to take actions right now! I alone must save Christmas some way, somehow? He returned to his cave with that sack full of toys. He needed to find a way to deliver to all the girls and boys. Eureka! He yelled as his brainstorm yielded fruit. I can attach a rocket to my Abrams! I just need a parachute! Within the hour, his mode of transportation was expertly devised. He is a professional, dear children. Don't try this at home. It's ill-advised. He took off into the sky with a thunderous ignition, with the intent of beating his anti-holiday demons well into submission. He made up for lost time as he traveled faster than light. Kicking in doors, breaking through windows, he asserted his might. Brink's home security was undoubtedly working overtime, but by the time they dispatched, there was nothing but presents to find. All the gifts were successfully delivered with just a few hours to spare. The good kids got games and toys, the bad got clothes and underwear. Robo rediscovered his holiday cheer as he beheld all those Christmas lights. Hey, Christmas to all! He bellowed. It's all a night!